it was so much. I, I thought. You're all right. I am all right. Come. <clears throat> Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. <clears throat> Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. It's going to be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Hello and welcome to Marble Gallery's Game of the Year 2018. My top 10 favorite games of 2018. This is it. This is the big one. This is the game that I'm picking as my game of the year for 2018. And we'll give a little drum roll here, I guess. My game of the year in 2018 is going to be God of War. And yes, it surprises even me. In the last week or so, I've been battling back and forth between God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2. And the more often I went back to God of War was a game that just surprised me and enthralled me so much as I played through it that, well, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the popular choice and the choice that everyone expects and everybody loved to death. And it's kind of the in and now game at the moment. I think God of War was... There was no other game in 2018 that I appreciated more by the time I rolled the credits on it than God of War. Now, yes, I didn't 100% God of War. I kind of want to now. I kind of want to go back and explore that world some more. And what I really appreciated and loved about God of War, other than the fact that they took and humanized the character of Kratos in a way that I was not expecting and actually really enjoyed, it's, it's the technical achievement of this game. It's the fact that the game is one long camera take. The entirety of the game is one long camera take. All the development that went into this game, you know, Sony didn't fully believe at first in a reboot of the God of War franchise and kind of there was an internal struggle there to get this game made. It took five years to make God of War this one. It took as long to make the 2018 God of War as it did Red Dead Redemption 2 and it shows when you play through this game. I think if you're a fan of Arkham games or kind of like the, I guess we'll pen the term Arkhamvania here, you know, the original Arkham Asylum had a very Castlevania slash Metroidvania feel to it. God of War, I think, is the perfect example of a game doing that this generation, you know. You're you're going into areas that you can't explore right away, but you have to unlock things to go back to them and so forth. I think the story that it presents here between you and your son, you know, going on this journey and doing... Uh, you know, going up to the top of this mountain to spread your dead wife's ashes. I think it's an incredible story. I appreciated it more and more as it went on. And you know, again, this was a game that when it first was announced and up and through to about two weeks before it came out, I wasn't really anticipating it. I kind of was like a whatever state. And then those reviews hit where everybody said, no, this game is incredible. And I kind of just bought it. Then I went on Amazon like the day those reviews hit. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I'm going to play God of War. We'll see what everyone's talking about. I was blown away by all the aspects of it. Uh, from the big boss battles that you already come to expect from this franchise. I think the combat, uh, the, the, the camera change, you know, from, you know, going from that third person kind of far out camera from the older games into this one, which has a more Resident Evil 4 type camera feel to it. Uh, the combat also excellent, excellent and perfectly executed. Just loved and adored God of War in 2018. It's the game I've thought about the most throughout the year of like, man, God of War was really, really good. And I think about like some of all these other bigger titles that have come out and everything. And I know, again, Red Dead Redemption 2 is on everyone's mind. God of War is my favorite game of 2018. Like there's, there's no better game that I think someone could go out and spend their money on in 2018 than God of War. If you haven't played God of War, it's the best game of 2018. I haven't played a better game this year. I, I think it's worth it your time to spend even, you know, months later. I would love to see if they would do a single player DLC for this game. Or even if they're just like, hey, you know what, we're working on the next God of War game. I would also be into that as well. And I think enough seeds were planted during the story here 
for you to get to that point as well. So God of War 2018, that's my game of the year. I loved and adored this game. I enjoyed it so incredibly much. Uh, you guys need to go and check it out. That's it. That's my game of the year. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed and appreciated all of the game of the year stuff that I've done this year. Remember, as always, to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time. Thank you.